This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. A major fire has caused significant damage to Special K Fisheries, a fish processing plant on Graham and Ann located near the ferry terminal at North Head. The fire broke out early Monday afternoon. Volunteer firefighters worked well into Tuesday to extinguish the flames. The ferry schedule was briefly disrupted and no injuries have been reported. But Graham and Ann Mayor Bonnie Morris says the devastation will have a significant impact on the island community as a whole. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. High winds across the southwest of the province contributed to the intensity of the fire and the extent of the damage is still being assessed. High winds also contributed to thousands of NB Power customers in southwest New Brunswick losing power on Monday, with approximately 6,000 Charlotte County homes without power overnight and well into Tuesday. With even gas stations closed in St. Stephen, Cummings Convenience in St. Andrews had a line that ran down Harriet Street to water on Tuesday morning, with customers from St. Stephen making the trip in and waiting nearly 30 minutes in line for gas. MB Power told CHCO that the extended power outage in southwest New Brunswick for the majority of customers was due to a transmission issue. On Monday, St. George RCMP responded to a shooting on the Glebe Road in Shamcook. A 38-year-old man suffering from a gunshot wound was transported to hospital to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries. RCMP arrested a 22-year-old man from Shamcook in connection with the incident, and he remains in custody. RCMP are asking that anyone with information call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. Patty Borthwick of St. George lost her daughter, Hillary Hooper, to suicide in December of 2020. To honor Hillary's memory and to celebrate what would have been her 30th birthday, Borthwick and a group of community members, including Hillary's friends, organized the third annual Hillary's Hope for Hunger in downtown St. George on Saturday, collecting food and monetary donations with all proceeds going to the St. George and Area Food Bank. The annual event is also Borthwick's way of raising suicide awareness. Hillary always just had such a big heart and a warm heart and she wanted to help everyone and even though she didn't have a lot of money, she always wanted to make sure people ate because as you know, food instability can lead to mental health issues. At least 1,500 pounds of food were donated and nearly $10,000 in monetary donations. Finally, you can give back to two important Charlotte County organizations just by eating cookies this week. For more on this, here's CHCO's Ian Curran. The Smile Cookie campaign has started back up again in Charlotte County with Tim Horton's location selling these treats in support of local charities. In St. George, funds from the cookies will be put towards the Sophia Recovery Center for Women which is an organization that aims to free women from addiction. Since the pandemic, our um, clientele has increased by 30% each week, so there's a real need for, for funding. So this is an incredible opportunity that we're thrilled about. The St. Stephen and St. Andrews franchises will be supporting the St. Stephen Middle School Home and School Association in efforts to build a new $15,000 playground for the students at the school. I believe that we should kind of let kids be kids as long as they can be and to give them something to play on at recess. The Home and School Association has put out a challenge to businesses across the region to see who can buy the most Smile Cookies. Smile Cookies will be on sale all week and 100% of the proceeds will be going towards their respective charities. Ian Curran, CHCO Newsbreak 26, Charlotte County. Thanks, Ian. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.